Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Bum, 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 bum. I'm listening to pump up music to get me ready for the day. And drinking coffee. What else could you want in life? I think I'm in such a good mood because it's finally sunny again after it's been raining the last two days. I got this package from Fabletics and they're such nice workout clothes. I'm gonna do a full try on haul in this video because they are sponsoring me for this video. I posted a couple pictures on my Instagram already and my fit insta and people were like where are these from where are these from and i was like don't worry i'm doing a haul like look at this camo um yes i'm here for this if you click the link in the description box you can get two leggings for 24 dollars which is a 99 dollars value which is so good yeah today's wednesday i think i'm gonna walk to the metro today i usually take the bus to save time but um I have a little extra time. I usually get to work early anyway, and it's just sunny out, so I feel like walking. And I think I'm gonna stop at Starbucks and get a reusable cup that they have for water because I wanna keep one at work. Bum, 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 bum. It's nice out, so I wanna wear like a dress or something, but it's also freezing, so I should probably wear pants. Yeah, isn't this terrible, this pile of clothes? It's, yeah. Don't wanna talk about it. I'll probably wear pants and like a coat, but the good news is it's not raining, so I don't have to wear a coat with a hood. It's my last weekend here before I go home for Thanksgiving break, which is great. A week from Friday, I'll be reunited with my family. Okay, check it out. I have the cutest outfits to show you guys. I honestly, like, Fabletics has surpassed my expectations. I am in love with it. Like, I get why everyone's obsessed with it now. Just look at these leggings. Like, is this a joke? They're so perfect, so adorable, this color, and they're so soft, too. Like, look, this is with the Demi Lovato uh, collaboration, I think. Obsessed. Like, will I ever take these off? Probably not. And I also got this, like, quarter zip, and it's so nice because it's like, oh, sorry, my mirror's so dirty, I really should have cleaned. It's like windbreaker material, but it's a quarter zip, and you can, like, adjust it so it's tight around your neck, and it has this really cute mesh detailing on it, and it has this pocket. These are the kind of leggings I can see myself having and keeping and wearing and them staying in good shape for like five years, no joke. You can see the mesh a little bit better in this light and it has it on the arm too. And it's just such a cool design, I really like this. When you feel like you have a cute gym outfit, you just feel better and more confident going into the gym. So like this is that for me. And underneath that I just have this sports bra. It's this soft gray color. It's really, really comfy, but I feel like it's like a decent hold also. It's got this really cool like lattice back design kind of thing. This color scheme. Yes, it's a yes from me. These are just solid, plain black leggings. I love the waistband of these. They're so controlling, but like soft, not restricting. They have a pocket on the inside for hidden things. And this pink sports bra crosses in the back. It's cute and functional. Like it's so supportive, but like so cute. <laughs> I got a medium in everything I ordered and it fits really well. This maroon darker pink legging with the light pink waistband, I love. These are really, really soft and they're the perfect length for me. This nice little pocket in the waistband. They're just so soft and comfy too, like even just on a plane, like not even working. This is the one I'm gonna wear to Orange Theory. I feel like such a badass in this even though I'm not, but this camo pattern, I love that it's like subtle. You guys know that I'm like kind of still iffy on camo, I like it but it has to be a certain subtle tee. <laughs> Perfect wash because they're also dark, so I feel like they're not gonna show sweat, but they feel so comfortable and sweat wicking anyway. I'm a short person and like they fit perfectly and if you're taller, they'll be like more seven eighths. I'm just like obsessed. And this tank top is great because I hate low tank tops. I've mentioned this before, eyelet detailing, it's breathable and I'm not gonna be like tugging at it and pulling it up and it's just like such a comfortable fit. I'm really excited about this, you guys. They even have accessories, so I got this new gym bag, which guys, like this is a really good gym bag and it's adorable and look how much it can hold. Like this has so many pockets, it's so big. So you guys might know that I've been trying to branch out and try new workout gear and then maybe I can help you guys out by comparing some of the brands. They're a great alternative to other brands because what you can do is take a style quiz and then get it customized to what your needs are for working out and what you like, like the styles that fit your personality better and the kind of workouts you're doing. They're just so customizable and they'll pick out outfits for you. You can also become a VIP member and then you can get up to 50% off their normal pricing which is incredible because it's already good prices like some of these things you would get for like three times the price at something like lululemon so if you want to order through my link down below then you can get two leggings for 24 dollars which i'm just like flabbergasted by because they honestly are such good quality leggings that like for similar 
quality you'd be paying over a hundred dollars at some places and these you can get two for 24 so yeah as a vip there's no obligation to regularly order or anything like that it's just a really good deal They're comfortable and make you feel good for no matter what your body type is you know it's just like it makes fitness and active wear more inclusive for more people that i feel like a lot of brands don't do so i'm a big fan definitely check out the link down below and i hope you check out some of the pieces that i got because i'm obsessed with them and i'm really excited to wear this outfit to orange theory and tell you guys how it holds up what's up you guys it is friday now and i don't think i've really vlogged the last couple days again Ugh. i'm gonna go and run some errands today and go on a few adventures so i thought i'd take you with me and hopefully get to film my workout but i might be going late so i don't know it might be busy this morning i've just been filming and working on some other stuff not for this vlog but i realized that i hadn't like added to this vlog yet so i'm just all over the place so before i head out to do my errands um i'm going to heat up my lunch i actually still have a meal prep um, usually I just, well I did, I only meal prepped three meals for my three days of work. I ended up buying lunch at work yesterday because there's a cafeteria and they have like really good food actually. Um, and we get like a discount for working there. And I bought food because, um, I was going out afterwards with my coworkers, so I didn't want to like carry around my lunch box and stuff. So, um, I still prepped three meals, but I just left one of them here. So I'm just going to eat it now for lunch. Last night we went and did a happy hour and then later... I went to this thing at this place called Decades, which is like, if you live in DC, you know. A friend had sent me this event a long time ago that was like Kyle Massey from Corey in the House was appearing at this like bar in DC. And so she's like, we should go, like joking. But I was like, okay, like I guess we're going. So we ended up going to this thing just like as a joke and Kyle Massey was there and Corey was in the house and it was just a weird experience because it was like, apparently they had an 18... I didn't know, but it was like 18 plus. So it was like a bunch of kids with X's on their hands and we were just there with Corey in the house. We're like, what is going on? Yeah, that's why I'm reheating my lunch. <laughs> Nothing makes sense. Okay. Yeah, it's just typical chicken with sweet potato and some veggies. Because I'm home, I can put buffalo sauce on it. I usually just eat it without sauce and it's still good. Like it's flavorful. I like to think I'm a good cook. I'm gonna put some buffalo sauce on it. No Sugar November has been going well. I'm really proud of myself and surprised, honestly. It's just nice to like break habits of like having, you know, vegan ice cream for dessert all the time. And like, I just don't eat that all the time. And I'm having more fruit in place of like artificial sugar. It's made me realize that I didn't eat as much as I thought. It's just like, it's just a good push to get me to try different snacks that don't have um, added sugar. There we go. And then I'm gonna head out. I wanna go to H&M because I wanna get a black coat that they have in particular. I don't wanna miss you, I just wanna be. Now I associate the smell with work. <laughs> and I'm just looking at their little accessories. I wish I could wear beanies, but I don't think they look good. H&M actually has some really cute stuff right now, which I don't know, I feel like I haven't like found much here in recent years. We'll see if I find anything else, but I definitely want to get the jacket. The good thing I came upstairs because I found the actual one that I was looking for. Like I'm 99% sure this is it because it's cheaper and I remember finding it online. And it looks different because it's like smaller and it doesn't have the same pockets. So I'm going to try it out. Okay, yes, this is so cute. This is just what I wanted. And it's a little shorter, but it's good. I did some weighted lunges, deadlifts, and squats. So I just did like the main big lifts. Now let's go shower and get ready for the next. Thing. You guys, I can't tell if it's recording. Oh yes, it is. It's so sunny out. I'm so happy because it was raining yesterday. But I'm on my way to Soul Cycle, going to Soul Survivor. And then I think we're gonna go try and go to a psychic after. So we'll see how that goes. I thought I would say hi. That's all. <laughs> Post Soul Cycle, we came to Bluestone Lane and we're getting little brunch. Look how cute. I got avocado toast with a poached egg and gluten free bread and a long black. This place is Australian. Here's Emily. We went to, oh my God, you guys, we went to this psychic, right? And it was $10. <laughs> and it was literally a 30 second reading. And she was just like, yeah, you've had some rough times. You're gonna have this person in your life with this letter in their name. And then that was like it. <laughs> like she gave no information that was interesting, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. J and M. J and M, yeah. <laughs> Are you out there? <laughs> Look how cute this place is. It's in the library, so I've seen it, but I haven't like eaten food here. So we're gonna try it. It's lots of windows. It's Australian, so I got a long black because that's what they drink in Australia. Not a bambino. <laughs> Not a bambino. It's <laughs> just bambino. milk, if you're wondering. A bambino. <laughs> Did you get the um, what was it called breakfast bowl breakfast she bowl. had to modify a little bit there's nothing vegan here if you are a vegan <laughs> beware, beware. <laughs> you 
could get the breakfast bowl without anything in it. We got Although, some kale, we got some quinoa. We got protein? Yeah. Look at that. Fiber. Look at those macros. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> Guys, this is our waiter, David. What's up? How's he just going? saw me vlogging. He's like, are you making a vlog? And I was like, do you want to be in it? And he said no. And now I put him on it. Now I am, you know? <laughs> do you think he's Anything? photogenic? Yeah, no, I think you're photogenic. Look at I'm you. Subscribing. <laughs> we'll see how I came home and showered and got ready, obviously, after Soul Cycle and brunch this morning. Yeah, that place was really cute. Shout out to David, a future YouTube star. I'm gonna put on my new H&M coat because actually this sweater, oh, this quarter zip is also from H&M. But I guess I'm just going for the black and red look. Did I try this on for you? I don't remember. I think I might have logged it in the mirror at the store. I got a size small, but as you can see, like it's still, like I can cross it over. The sleeves are a good length for me. I would maybe size down if I were you. There's still like room, so I can wear like a sweater under it. Blue lemon leggings with the Air Force Ones. This is a very basic bitch kind of outfit. As you probably have gathered at this point in the video, I've decided to combine my vlogs. I haven't done this in a really long time. I've actually been really proud of my ability to keep with my upload schedule. I just didn't want to like force a vlog for Sunday. Um, so I'm just gonna upload this on Wednesday so it's like a week long pretty much. This will be my trying Orange Theory vlog too, which I'm so excited that's tomorrow. No, I keep thinking it's Sunday, but it's Saturday. <laughs> so I'm going to Orange Theory on Monday, but you'll be seeing this, this is gonna go up on Wednesday. So right now I'm going to meet my friend Kaylin, who I'm going to Orange Theory with her too, so she'll be on this vlog later. But we found out there's like Air Canada is doing this like pop-up poutine week or something. I don't know. We're just like, why the heck not? So we're gonna go and check it out and just adventure around and yeah that's where i'm going now i'm going to try and remember to vlog i've been doing a lot of stuff and not vlogging it and i know that you guys want me to and i'm just still i'm just so weird about vlogging with other people i'm trying to get better at it and vlog a little bit more of like my personal life and just like hanging out with friends and stuff hopefully I'm, what i'm saying is i hope i get some footage but we'll see it already seems so late but it's like three it's just the the sun is setting so early which i know that you're probably hearing about in every single vlog that you watch these days because everyone talks about daylight savings okay Let's go. Okay, remember that vlogging with other people thing I said I was gonna do? And when I went and did like fun things in that little Air Canada pop up. Also, my face right now because of this fucking thing. Sense words. I didn't do that and I'm sorry. And this is a terrible lighting situation. I'm on my way now to go meet up with my friend Marissa and we're gonna go to the National Arbitorium. I think I'm saying that wrong. But I've never been and I've always seen pictures of it. And it's nice outside. So, like, sunny. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna try and vlog that and not be a complete flop. I'm in Orange Theory tomorrow. I went to Soul Cycle this morning. It's Sunday, by the way. And I don't usually go two days in a row. And I had done a leg day right before that. And now my legs are like kind of in pain. So that will be um, interesting for my, oh, it's overexposed for my first Orange Theory experience. My poor camera's like, what are you doing to me with this lighting? I'm going to the metro, it feels so late in the day, but it's like two. Look how pretty this is. It's such a calm afternoon, evening. We got this nice yellow tree. I feel like I have to whisper because it's so quiet, but this is the, well, we're gonna figure out. We're gonna go read it, but this is it from far, the famous pillars from the Arbor, how do you say it? The National Arboretum. <laughs> the United States National Arboretum. <laughs> this is Marissa, by the way. Hello. Hi, I don't think I've vlogged, have I vlogged you before? I don't I remember. So. Anyway, there's so much nice foliage. We came here, I still have to whisper because it's so quiet, but like the sun's softly setting. It's, we have so much to explore, but we're coming quiet. to this part first. And we're only like 10 minutes away from the city. Like we're still yeah. in the city. Yeah, yeah, I would like never guess. Drive from like downtown. Yeah, I was actually surprised how quick we got here. Like I thought we were gonna be in the car for a good like 20 minutes for some reason, but I guess I um, have no sense of <laughs> driving around here. So looks like they've got some sort of glass building. Greenhouse. <laughs> Botanical. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really good with these terms, obviously. Arboretum. Wait, is that what it is? Yes. You did it. <laughs> I keep wanting to say aboratorium. <laughs> it's just a lot more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> it's a mad scientist. Yeah, aboratorium. To the aboratorium. <laughs> Phineas and Ferb or something. Yeah, yeah, the, um, oh my god, I loved Phineas and Ferb. It was, what was his name? The evil guy, Doofenshmirtz. Oh my god. <laughs> to the laboratorium. That's not his accent at all. Doofenshmirtz. Wow, look at this lighting. This is nice. Little benches. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the foliage. Oh, so pretty. Well, you can still hear the sirens. Do you hear that softly in the distance? Guess you're not that far from the city. National Capitol Columns, which Marissa predicted that it was the original Capitol building. But so we're gonna find out how accurate your story is. That's bright. I think it was like 
1820s. Okay. Would you like to make yeah, any other bets another. before we read it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, completed in 1826. Wow. No, it's here. Oh, what? This was. They had a building here? Yeah. Oh. I totally thought. It. Okay. Well, so the, did they destroy it? Why would they destroy it? No, they moved it. Like they picked it up and moved the Capitol building? <laughs> They rented like a Home like, Depot like, cart. <laughs> like the dismantling of the columns. What? Okay, maybe we should read the actual thing. <laughs> These 22 Corinthian sandstone columns were among the 24. Where's the other two? The columns were dismantled, but I don't feel like they would do that for the whole. This doesn't really answer my question. So here, did they move it? I really don't think they did. <laughs> huh. Well, here's some columns. <laughs> Unclear. Oh, so these columns moved here from somewhere else. I think that makes more sense than them just leaving columns and taking an entire building. <laughs> well, we're gonna find out and probably feel so dumb if whatever the actual reason is. I am literally cringing so much watching this footage and I hope you are too. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave it in because I think it's hilarious. Um, we didn't actually think that they had moved the building from there. We were just really confused because they didn't have the real information at that part. But we found out later those columns were at the Capitol building originally and then they did some renovations in the 50s and took the columns and put them in the Arboretum. So... <laughs> okay, please continue. Pretty little blue flowers here too. It's squinting in the sun and I'm realizing that I'm wearing sunglasses on my head. So like this is a very fixable problem. We found little trees. Me whispering again. Chinese juniper. Little trees. So do they have to specifically, this is probably a stupid question. Do they like specifically design them to be small? Like how does this work? I mean, okay, if you don't know, then it, it must be not a stupid question. <laughs> Does anyone know? Let me know. If you're a botanist, comment down yeah, below. Like they genetically modify like normal trees. We both graduated college. Yeah, this, this video is gonna be called 15 minutes of us not knowing anything about botany. <laughs> so cute. I feel like you need to put like a little cottage in there and like some it could gnomes. Be like, a little, like fairy garden. <laughs> it could with some lights. They should get small lights to hang in the trees. <gasps> they should decorate these for Christmas. <laughs> We have a lot of ideas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, uh, training that it's been in since 19 Yeah, it has been in training. So all of them are in training, they say. That one. I like that one. That's cool. Practicing bonsai used to be reserved bonsai. for masters and scholars only. Well, we better leave. Did we walk through this one already? I don't think so. Okay. All the trees are starting to look the same. <laughs> look at this. They put up these icicle lights under this tunnel by the metro. In Noma, they're so cool. Went to the laboratory, I can't even say it. And then we went to Union Market and had dinner. So now I'm just headed home. It's freezing. And oh, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's, I think, and get my groceries, even though it's Sunday night and everything's gonna be sold out. But I don't need that much stuff because I'm only here for like four more days before I go home for break. But I'm just gonna grab a few things on my way home. Grocery shopping. I'm just getting like a few things because I'm leaving on Friday. Last time, as like a sweet snack that doesn't have added sugar, I got freeze dried strawberries and they were so good. I don't see any though. I think they might be sold out. I might try like raspberries. They have a bunch of different ones. Apple. They don't sweeten them, but they're still really sweet and I like them a lot. Strawberries, crackers. Yeah. The usual suspects. Banana might be good. I'm gonna try it. And I'll get raspberries. So I pretty much got it all, and now I'm gonna go home. Here we go, I'm about to leave for Orange Theory, and I'm terrified. Half the class is on a treadmill, but people have said that you can walk it, like you don't have to run. So, we'll see. I'm gonna take some pre-workout just because I know that I need that like burst of energy for running. Like my friend Bianca is obsessed with it and she's gonna work there and in her vlog she's always talking about Orange Theory and finally I'm doing it. You know what means business when I got two braids in. It makes me feel like a boxer. Should I admit that out loud? <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> All of your texts this morning were so funny. She texted me, she goes, should I wear leggings or shorts? I only have Pilates clothes. And I was like, what even is that? <laughs> you, you got leggings, it's, it's you got like, shoes. Like this, oh, like, that's cute. Outfit of the day. Okay, here we go. Our first class, baby's first death by orange theory. <laughs> we're the only like, first, first timers. timers. The class is full, so you'll be surrounded. Oh boy. They got showers. Okay, I just want to show the studio really quick because I'd be curious what it looks like. It's orange. They got the treadmills, all the equipment. Kaylin looks, she's like, I don't know how to use any of these things. <laughs> We're the first people here, so pick a locker, any locker. Um, let's take go this with... One. Lucky number two. <laughs> so orange, so theoretical. 
Okay, I think the fire one's probably calories burned. And then the, I don't know what the first one is, but we're both around 45% to 50. We survived. How do you feel? Kaylin got 46 flat points, everyone. She's means I'm really out of shape. <laughs> but you pushed yourself, that's good. Keep burning. We did the weights first in the rowing and then we did the treadmill. Sliding is terrible. Um, and I kind of like that better. Oh. You know, I really like mix things up so you mm -hmm. don't really burn out. Because like, if do I was we get doing everything? Burpees yeah. forever, I would be dead. Right. I feel like doing that after running would have been hard. But. I wonder if you have to choose if you run first or not. I don't know. But there's the studio. Off we go. Back in the light. Back above ground. <laughs> Ow, my legs. Oh or so God. sore. I was like dying and complaining on the treadmill. <laughs> I'm back from Orange Theory. I have to leave for class in two hours. But guys, look how well, like these do not show sweat whatsoever. I did sweat quite a bit, but like you can't see it all. Like, they dried really fast. Uh, I loved them. Like didn't even think about my clothes the whole time, which is what you want in workout clothes. Because if you're in the middle of a workout class, like sweating it out, and then you're like, oh my god, this bra is digging into me or my pants are falling down. That's annoying. Like, if you don't think about your clothes, that's ideal. And they were amazing. So, I would highly recommend. I just can't say enough good things. So, whew, deep breath. Okay, I need to um, finish my last bit of meal prepping, which is basically cooking my ground turkey and cauliflower gnocchi. And I'm going to have that for lunch anyway. And then take a shower and get ready for class and finish up this vlog for you guys. The Orange Theory sent me the um, stats of my workout in an email based on their heart rate monitor they put on me and then I'm gonna compare it to my Apple Watch. I really liked the class, it was a lot of fun and it wasn't as chaotic as I thought it would be with like people on the treadmills while people are doing like the weights and everything but it was really, like they had it easy to follow, like they had the exercises on the screen so you could watch that. Like I told you guys, my legs were so sore and I didn't stretch them out before I went on the treadmill and once I started the incline, like my calves were screaming so I had to like stop and stretch again and I just couldn't really like push myself on the treadmill because I knew that like my muscles were going to hate me. So I definitely need a rest day. My legs are going to fall off. <laughs> Marcus was our coach at Foggy Bottom and he was super cool and he wasn't too like over the top like screaming or anything like that. It was just like a really encouraging environment. I've said this before, I would rather do strength exercises like lifting on my own, like at my own pace and then do cardio in a class. Um, so that's why I liked doing like Soul Cycle and um, lifting on my own but if you're someone who needs that push or like doesn't really know what to do when it comes to lifting it's a great start for sure and then you get a good balance of working but it was endurance strength and power i want to say like a mix of all of them so it was a good class to start with but i can totally see why people are obsessed with it because it is a good all-around workout if that's like the bulk of your workout routine because it is kind of expensive like i would probably focus like all my workouts on that but i don't know if it's worth it for my training style in particular but I'm glad I tried it finally. So here's my workout summary that they emailed me. So these are different heart rate zones if you're unfamiliar. Red is like, I don't remember the exact percentage, but it's like really, really high of your maximum heart rate. So I was only in it for five minutes. And then I spent most of the class in the green and orange zones. It says I burned 553 calories. I got 26 splat points. My average heart rate was 151 and average percentage was 79% of my max heart rate. So again, I didn't really push myself on the treadmill because of my sore legs. I had it set to high intensity interval training because I wasn't really sure what else to put it at. But yeah, my heart rate stayed up pretty solid. Um, so this says I burned 553 and my Apple Watch says that I burned 600. This says my average heart rate was 158 as opposed to 151. And it's cool how you can like track your progress over time if you keep going back and it'll show you like what's changed and stuff. Time to eat. A little bit of the Glossier. I'm not doing foundation today because I just have one class and I'm like, eh, so I'm just gonna even out my skin with this little bit and some powder. I just wanna close off this vlog because I think it's now collective enough. It's been a random assortment of things because it's twice the um, amount of days that I usually include in one vlog. So I hope it was interesting. I hope you liked coming to Orange Theory with me. Also, I just saw, I watched um, when I was eating my lunch that Bianca, who I mentioned earlier, who works there, I think her last vlog that she just uploaded that I just watched was like all about Orange Theory and she gives a lot better description of it. So um, I'm gonna link that down below if you're curious to know more about it because I'm 
obviously not an expert. I hope you guys liked coming on those little adventures with me. I actually meal prepped my lunches for work last night. Um, after I went to Trader Joe's, I just came home and cooked my sweet potato and my um, veggies, so that was all done. So it's kind of nice today because I knew I was going to Orange Theory. I think I might try and do that in the future, which once I come back from Thanksgiving though, I only have like two weeks of my internship left, which is so sad. I'm gonna miss it. I've like grown really attached to it and the people I work with. Again, obsessed with Fabletics. I haven't shut up about it yet in this video, so. Don't forget, like you need to do this because it's such a good deal. You can get two for 24 for leggings. That's $12 each and these leggings are literally like so nice. Also, you're gonna wanna click it now because if you like the styles I showed you, like a bunch of people are asking about my camo leggings. They get new styles every month, so they're not here that long. So you're definitely going to wanna get them before they change them. I will see you guys in my next vlog, which will be me flying home. What the heck? I'm going to a Louis the Child concert on Thursday, which I've been looking forward to for so long, and it's gonna be so much fun. And then <laughs> the morning after the concert, I have a flight at 6 a.m. And that doesn't mean I wake up at 6 a.m. That means my plane takes off from the airport at 6 a.m after I'm going to a concert. So pray for me, see if I survive, stay tuned to the next vlog to see, and then you'll see Paula. She's gonna be in my next vlog. Like, what the heck? I can't believe this is happening. So thank you so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye. Yeah, I only love my bed and my mom. I'm so